Hey everybody, welcome back to the lodge. Today <clears throat> we're going to talk about some finish. Now, down in our finishing shop today we've got a, a very unpleasant day outside with rain and wind, so it's kind of hard to do any woodworking or sawmilling. So <clears throat> we're going to take a few minutes to talk about some finish. Finish that I like to use. And um, doing uh, woodworking for, you know, the last 15 years, we uh, tried some finishes and like... Uh, I was a big fan of the Minwax oil base and uh, their spar urethane for indoor outdoor stuff. And um, just over the last couple of years, we've well, let's back up even a bit. Before that, probably six years ago, seven years ago, I dabbled with a little bit of water based finish. I didn't know much about it, I didn't really care for it. Um, it was way different looking than what I was used to. And so it's just, <clears throat> I tried it a couple times. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know a lot about it. Didn't like it. Just said, nah, not for me. Went back to the oil-based finishes. Well, and then there was a time when oil-based, uh, a lot of companies were switching from oil-based to oil-modified and water-based finishes. So I'm like, well, I, if I'm going to keep doing woodworking, I might need to get on the bandwagon and look into some options again. So I uh, some friend, Mennonite friends of mine who run a furniture store not too far from us who, where they make custom furniture Their finish has just always been magical to me. It's just beautiful Hard soft finish if that makes sense. It's just Very very cool never a run nothing never Anything out of place their finish has just been top shelf, you know So I've always Man, how do I do that, you know? So, and I asked them what they use. And they use a two-part uh, finish. Um, not, of course, not an epoxy, but it's a, he, he sprays it. It's, I'm sure it's oil-based. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, see, the other problem is where I do my finishing. Uh, I've thought about using an, uh, a spray. I've got a spray gun. I've got a couple of them, actually. And I've thought about using them for spraying oil based finish well that gets messy it really does and it's you just do a little bit of finishing and sometimes it'll take you longer to clean your uh, spray gun and all that um, versus what it takes to do the job so and it's you know with uh, thinners and stuff like that it's just it's you got to have a good safe place to do it and you know, we've got animals around and all that. So it's just, and of course, my finishing department's in my basement. So all heavy fumes go up through the roof. And everybody knows what I'm doing in the house, basically. They can just smell it. So, but I like that. I like the spray because I, I brush a lot of stuff. I still do, but I spray a lot of stuff when I can. And it just, I want that, that look. Well, I did some research, and I've uh, researched some water-based uh, finish, and it came up with Total Boat. Halcyon Total Boat. This stuff is really cool. Now, first off, I am not a paid sponsor by Total Boat. They don't uh, sponsor our company in any way, shape, or form. I wish they would, because I really love their product. So let's get that straight. This is just my own testimony. It's a little pricey. For me, it's hard to get. I can only get it online. There's not a store close that sells it where I could go buy it, which that would be really convenient. Um, my closest uh, big box store like Menards or Lowe's or Home Depot is an hour and 10 minutes away. Uh, Superstore Walmart, that's about a half hour away. There's an Ace Hardware. About a half hour, 40 minutes away, and but they're just expensive, and they just they could care less if they have my business or not. No offense, Ace, but you're slacking, and you're overpriced. So, and we have a local hardware store here. It's like 15 minutes away, and they only carry so much stuff. It's just a small, local to the area type hardware store. So, Total Boat, I really like it. It's water based. 
Uh, it goes on, you can brush it on, you can uh, spray it on. Um, so in, in my sprayer, I've got uh, an airless, and I tell you what, it does a really nice job, easy cleanup. Um, it repels water. It, it just, you know, it's we do a lot of our stuff indoor, outdoor, because we don't know when our, one of our biggest products is benches, and we don't know if they're going to use it inside, outside. So why not just do it with an, uh, an outdoor friendly finish? And that way, if they use it inside, great. And if they use it outside, no problems there either. So that's... Now, of course, as much as I love Total Boat and the finish, there's issues. Everybody's got issues. Like every time I get one of these bags through the mail, through Amazon, these lids are... See, this one, it was just like that, ready to fall off when I got it. Thank God it's got that. It would have been a real mess, but... I'm going to say I've ordered these probably eight times, and seven out of eight, it, that caps, actually there were some of the caps were missing, so it's, Total Boat needs to really work on that a little bit. Um, the bags are cool because you can use a little, now of course I use these cups, and then I just dump the whole contents in and keep that up there. So, you know, with the bag, some finishes, you'll get a, a layer of scum on top. Well, when it's in the bag, it doesn't do that. So, that's kind of cool. But also, when I pour it in this, you know, it takes me a little while to use this, but not too long. And But it doesn't do that either. It'd get a little thick, maybe. So, I'll take a little water. It tells you how much to dilute it if you want to thin it out. Even when I thin it out to the maximum, though, here's another con. Um... It just doesn't want to go through my sprayer for some reason. And, of course, my sprayer is good for latex paints and all this other stuff. So I don't understand why um, it doesn't work. But it's supposed to. So I'm going to pour this into this cup so you can see what it looks like. Now, see, we while I'm getting my knife out so we can do this, um, our company, we do a lot of eastern red cedar. And what the problem was back then when I did uh, first started messing with the thought of water base is that it wouldn't bring out the reds in the cedar like oil base does. And I couldn't, for the life of me, understand why. I'm not going to pour the whole thing because I want to do some other tests here. So I make sure there's no air. Like they say in their videos, put the cap on it and it should be good to go for as long as I want. But see now you can see it's, it's kind of thick. It's it's almost like milk and a milkshake, you know, it's somewhere in the middle. You know, it's got some viscosity to it. So it's not like water. And then I remember the first time I opened up a can of... Uh, Water-based paint, it looked like milk. I'm like, is this what it's supposed to look like? Is it bad? I mean, nobody tells you, you know? So for those who don't know, yes, it's white. It looks like milk. Same consistency. Actually, it's probably even a little thinner. So there's that. But this stuff, see now what I used to do, because this, this stuff's pricey. It's 36 bucks for this bag, which is a quart. So... What I do with this stuff, though, I'm getting ahead of myself. So anyway, what I I couldn't get the reds to come out like I did with the oil. So I discovered sanding sealer. I'd never used sanding sealer. I mean, always the first base of oil or first coat of oil-based polyurethane was kind of just like a scratch coat, you know. It's cedar just sucks it up huge, you know. So. It was did that well, and of course, I started washing my boards before using them. Like this bench, I bring it in, and it's all pink and pretty from the wood shop. And the first thing I do is I take a sprayer and I spray it down, and I take a microfiber towel, something like this, or a uh, white terry cloth towel, and I wipe the dust off because you'd be surprised how much micro thin layer of dust is on those, especially cedar. It's just, 
seems to be a real prominent. So we clean that off, let it dry completely. Then I take um, Bullseye's Universal Sanding Sealer. And what I will do is do the whole project. I'm still messing around with that. Sometimes I'll do two coats, sometimes just one coat. Doesn't seem to really make much difference, but that's with the cedar, you got to be careful. You don't want blotches or anything like that because it'll show up and it'll look uh, uneven and it'll look, look hokey. So, and end up sanding a little bit, like if uh, you get a, a light puddle or something for, I don't know, whatever. It just sometimes it sucks in so fast for you, you can really do a lot with it. it and creates almost like a watermark, so you got to sand that a little bit and clean it up. But once I do all that and I let it dry for a little while, then I'll go over it with uh, my spray. I use um, Verithane Indoor Outdoor uh, uh, Finish, Water Based Finish. And hold on. You go. That's what I use a lot of satin or gloss, and it's exterior. No sponsorship here, but if they want to, they could. It'd be helpful. Um, alt, it's very made by Verithane, Ultimate Spar Urethane Water Base, and I will put that in my sprayer, and I'll spray a few coats of that. Usually three or four, and uh, it's I'll spray the first coat, let it dry completely, and scuff sand it lightly with 320, sometimes 220, and then uh, wipe it down. Now, <laughs> I use a lot of alcohol when I put it in a spray bottle. When you're you doing water based, this is a tip. When you're doing water-based finishes, you do not spray alcohol and try to wipe it. It does not, it doesn't end well. And it creates sometimes more issues, making it real tacky and sticky. So I learned that the hard way because I use a lot of this, uh, like if I do oil-based finish and I sand it I'll, or epoxy, because I do a lot of epoxy, I'll spray it on there to clean up and then before I do a flood coat or whatever I'm doing. So don't do that. I use the, just a light, damp, one of these, wipe that over, and then I'll spray two, three more coats without sanding anymore. And then I'll use this as a top coat, and I'll do two, sometimes three. If I know if it's going to be outside, I'll do three or four. So, and it, it goes on really nice. You can brush it on, spray it on. Even brushing it on, you can't tell. It just it lays down so nice and smooth. So, if you want a good, durable, water-based finish, I do recommend Total Boat. They're pricey. I get them on Amazon. So, go on there and and uh, they sell all kinds of stuff. I've been experimenting with their epoxy. I'm doing a dining room table and their deep pour epoxy. I've been a stone coat epoxy fan for a long time. But uh, I always like to see how everybody else is. As far as the deep pour, I really like Total Boat better than anybody else. And, of course, Stone Coat is a good second. Um, I've tried some others in the past, which I'm not going to mention their names because I don't want to be accused of product bashing, which because that's not what I'm about. So, But this works really well. I am happy with their products. I've recently gotten a new product from Total Boat called Thixo, and it helps... Uh, for filling in knots and stuff like that before you do an epoxy and stuff. So I'm going to try that out and let you all know how that works. So, but yes, um, and a lot of times when I'm doing a final coat of this, I'll, I'll use a foam brush. Cheapy foam brush, 89 cents. Uh, sometimes you can wash this out and use it one more time. Depends on how big your project is. Like um, this, this was finished. But it was next to another project that I was working on, and I got some epoxy on it. So I had a, a spot. It looks like a looks like bird doo doo on there. So I had to clean that off, and then I just kind of lightly scuffed it, and I'll put a 
a new coat on there with this and it'll be good as new but then when it dries I'll put plastic over it so that doesn't happen again but it just it's a good product very durable um, and it gives you that hard that hard finish and it just it looks really elegant and nice so uh, if you're looking for something like that total boat good stuff they use it on boats so and uh, if there's uh, any other comments or questions that you have about some of the products that we use, or if you want to throw a suggestion out there, I am not too good to take suggestions. So that's uh, our product review and info for today. Thanks for coming to the lodge, and uh, we'll see you again next time.